Don't know how long I want to be stood under here. The entire weight of a fully grown tree. <laughs> I am in Sigulda, which looks very nice. This whole area is like a time capsule. There's lots of old ruins and really old caves. The buildings are very complete and have a lot of detail still. So it's very easy to walk around and get very caught up in the atmosphere. You get a really good sense of what it would have been like in the late 1800s walking around this area. I feel a little bit like an outside observer kind of looking in on another world. It's very strange, but really quite magical. Today we are at Cecis Castle and Museum, as you can see here, and it's the first museum that I've been to where they've given me a candle lantern to explore, so I'm quite intrigued about what's going to happen. <laughs> Why do I need this? Pretty dark, and the candle doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> That was legitimately scary. Look, just literally could not see anything and it's a spiral staircase. This place is amazing. This old stuff freaks me out. Like there were actually people in here living their lives, carrying their lanterns. And now here I am in the future, in their room. What? Doesn't that blow your mind? Oh, it's an old bathroom. We've reached the top, as you can see. This is famous in the area, the Cecis Castle roof, a pointed dome. And here we are on the inside. This, this is a really nice touch. Adding candlelight exploration to the experience is really nice. It's really quite unique. Some great views as well out here. Welcome to my hotel room here in Cesis. No, I'm joking. This is the <laughs> good one. This is Cesis New Castle. It's like an extra bit stuck on the old castle that's obviously newer. And oh my gosh, it is rather nice. Look at this stuff. This is pretty creepy. Not just the chanting, but also full suit of armor. But I'm really into the aesthetic. The helmet design is awesome. Oh my god, yes. Yes, they have one. It's real metal. I can't pick that up one handed. It's not comfortable. That actually kind of hurt. My head is too big to fit in a knight's helmet. All the pressure was kind of sitting on here because my head didn't fit inside. Ah, <laughs> oh, giving myself a bit of a migraine. This one's a bit more comfortable. What am I doing? I'm in a kid's room on my own. <laughs> Go and do something with my life. This is a really nice view and the Latvian flag, of course, they're never shy about using it. Is that thunder? There is a storm about to come. So I am gonna 
head out of here. I hope you have enjoyed the tour of the castle. Six euro entry fee as well to get in here, which I thought was money really well spent, really decent place. And I don't know why I loved exploring by candlelight. It's the simple things, simple things in life that I enjoy. Did that all make sense? So that was two separate castles in two separate locations, both in Latvia. Oh, hi, by the way, I'm the other Rob. Listen, there's two, there's two of me. There's one of me, which is out there, seeing all the castles. Oh, aren't I having a great time with my candle? And then there's me, the other me, that has none of the fun, because I have to sit here <laughs> and watch it all back. Other me, editing me that sits here, doesn't often intervene, but every now and then I have to because I really screw it up and I don't say what I'm doing. I've just watched the rest of the footage. It doesn't make sense, so I'm here to explain what happens next. So the bit that you just saw in Sisis Castle, that was my final stop in Latvia. And I didn't record any sort of exit like this. My last stop in Latvia, hasn't it been fun? Latvia's been a great country, which it was. So basically, I moved from Latvia north into Estonia, across the border. It's super easy. It's just like going from England to Wales. And my first stop in Estonia was Tartu. And here's what it looked like. Good morning from a rooftop in Estonia. <laughs> Got a low key breakfast going on. I'm in the small-ish city of Tartu. And this is the cathedral or what remains of it anyway. So just a flying visit to this southern city as I pass through north from Latvia into Estonia and I'm heading further north now up to Tallinn, the capital of Estonia. About six weeks ago in Finland, I was next to the ocean facing Estonia and I jumped in the sea. It was covered in ice. This is the same sea, just the other side, six weeks later. Now, I did book to be here for two days, but I've had around 20 minutes and I'm in a bit of a hurry because I've got to go and catch the aeroplane, this aeroplane. <laughs> By the way, I'm back in Latvia, which is a shame because the few minutes that I spent in Tallinn were quite nice in Estonia. And now I'm off the aeroplane, I'm in Hackney. I've just done a half marathon and Levi Roots is singing on the stage. This is life. And there you go, that's everything that I filmed. I told you it didn't make any sense. <laughs> I intended to continue traveling the Baltic, go around Estonia like I had every other country. Went to Tallinn, uh, checked into my hostel, put my bags away, and then I got a call. And it was from one of my friends back in London who knew someone who worked in television and they needed someone to work on their program last minute. It was only a week, so why not? Now bear in mind, by the time that I reached Estonia, I had not worked for five months. I had not received any money in over five months. I said I will check how quickly I can get home and how much it will cost. And I managed to find a flight that night from Latvia and I could fly to London for something like 30 pounds, something really cheap. Flew from Riga to London, worked for a week 
and that's why I was back in London. Oh, and then when I arrived in London, one of my friends who was planning to run the Hackney Half Marathon was injured and offered me her place for free. So as a bonus, I landed in London and then ran the Hackney Half because I had nothing else to do. <laughs> and then after I'd finished shooting this programme for a week, I left straight away and took all the money I'd earned to the Netherlands with my friend Rudd from the UK, but that is coming up in the next video. I'm back with new travel videos every single Tuesday, so do subscribe to see them first. Oh, and also I don't often get this chance to break away from the narrative, because normally I'm just editing stuff that I've already filmed. This is the last video that is set in the Baltics. It was amazing. The Baltic States was something that I knew very little about before I went, and I left absolutely loving it and also I've had a massive surprise wave of support mostly from Lithuanians who saw one of my videos in Lithuania a few weeks ago which was weirdly popular someone said that it was featured on trending in Lithuania which is mad so I just want to say thank you for all the love and support and for everyone who got on board with me during the Lithuania videos and these Baltic videos I hope you stay with me I hope you're enjoying the videos so far and also keep leaving your comments as well, your comments have been so nice and they've been really nice to read as well, I try and reply to all of them. So thanks very much for watching folks, I'll see you next Tuesday for another travel video, bye bye! <laughs>